my back of the hound up episode two. Whoa, whoa, that's it too. Biting some people real quick. About to get at it in a little bit. Episode 2. While I wait for the people, let me find me something to watch on Netflix. Any suggestions? What's up with you, bro? How you feeling? My bad. I was inviting people. I'm sending a connection to you now, bro. Yo. Hey, bro. Definitely catching that sound, don't stress it. Having a little bit of technical difficulties for real. Try that again. Hey, okay. Yo. Okay, yeah, I can hear you, bro, but I can't okay. see you. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? You're breaking up, bro. Yeah, I hear you a little bit, but you you going in and out, bro. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on with you, bro? Well, right, it's, it's working now, bro. What's going on with you? How you feeling? Hello? Yeah, yeah. What's going on with you? Ain't nothing much chilling, yo, doing this thug thing. You know how that go. What about you, bro? How you feeling? How your day going? Hey, man, everything going good, man. Um, I'm, I'm, Me and the wife took us a little vacation. But uh, now it's back to the dog. All righty, all righty. But before we get started, let everybody know how to contact you, what, what platforms, uh, let, um, yeah, basically how I get at you. And um, I'll be, and I'll be sending you the link when I post it on YouTube, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Big Chris, man, dog man, 901. You can reach me on uh, Instagram at dogman underscore 901. 
I'm just on Instagram. I used to be on Facebook. Entirely too much drama. Got off of there. Um, there was a lot of platforms and stuff on there, but instead of everybody uh, coming to one accord for the betterment of the, um, you know, I mean, the band dogs, people, uh, it's, it's too much criticizing and envy and jealousness among them people. So, me, oh, I no, just try to keep it with the real. Bro. I know the feeling. I didn't already had a little run in with the bus since I had to put a couple people in there, please. But yeah, um, what, uh, tell them, let them know what breed you play with. What made you get into these hounds, bro? Well, I used to be a um, a real avid bulldog, square dancing, and um, I had uh -huh. to I had to leave that alone because here in the city of Memphis. There's too many rats, snakes, thieves, and snitches. So before I did a life bid, I decided to get out the game and deal with the band dogs. Um, they still got the bulldog in there, but uh -huh. yeah. But um, instead of me, uh, dog, dog on dog, now it's dog on a human. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, all right. So um, you know, you know um. For the audience, I ain't really uh down with down with the hounds and all that or the, or the new people that's new to these dogs. Explain to them what a band dog is, bro. Well, a band dog is really um it's a it's a it's a uh, more or less of a title than a name. Um, the dog has to have a job and um, guarding and protecting. Um, the, the the word banda means to chain up during the day. And um, you just let them loose at night, man, to do their job. You know, guard and protect the livestock in the home front. You know, everybody in the household. That's what they do. And um, uh, I, can, I can honestly say that my dogs are band dogs because they got a job. And they've been having a job for the last six years. For, well, the last for the last six years, and um, everybody working, everybody biting, everybody working. Yeah. All righty, bro. And um, when you used to play with the Bulldogs, what bloodline did you uh play with, bro? Say that again. What bloodline did you play with when you when you had the Bulldogs, bro? Oh man, when I was in them Bulldogs, man, I was, hey, Bujo, them uh, Bujo dogs always. Um, Bujo dogs always. Um, I uh, like that that old Carver. Um, mm -hmm. I had a Carver Kobe, and I, um, we had some uh, a Red Devil Corvino dogs, and we were just wow. run that old yeah, we run that old school stuff there together. But then. Every now and then, see, I'm, see, I'm old country boy, and I experiment. Some of my dogs, I ran some old Beaver in there, Coon Hound, Tennessee Walker, and guess what? All of them still work. All of them oh, still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, because, like, the, uh, even down to uh, what I'm doing now, right? I'm basically working on making my own breed, but they fell in my hands, so I'm starting off with the Bostons. But when I, uh, when I step in there and I Frankenstein it out, I'm gonna have something nice, but I'm gonna keep that on rats for people. Up. I'm just gonna let them watch and see. But yeah, I was um recently recently talking to somebody because I started uh looking up the uh Walker the Walker Coon Hound. They they are, they are, um interesting interesting hound for real. Yo, uh, some of them Tennessee them Tennessee one Coon Hound. Yeah. Hey, hey, they some good dogs, man. They, hey, they'll run all night. Uh, if you bred right, man, uh, good background on them. They bred tight. They're going to bring plenty of mouth and win to the table. And a lot of them, uh, they, they game. Uh, a lot of them extremely game. Give their red cone brother. You got to have some uh -huh. guys. Real, yeah. real deal. Most definitely. I was definitely I was even looking up looking into the black and tag cone hound. <coughs> Say that again. 
I was even looking into the black and tan cone hound. Hey, they good too, man. I had all uh, one milk. Um, I really couldn't let her go until after they had them kind of made the coon drop to the ground and let them and let her get them. Cause other than that, she hit the other dogs, man. And I ain't want that. I want her on that coon. So I mean, I done oh, dealt with a yeah. lot of dogs. Yeah, yeah, I done dealt with a lot of dogs, man. Um. Um, I don't, I don't want to brag and boast about it. I'm, I, I, I just kind of learn to sit back, sit right in the and just watch and pay attention. Oh, wow. That's what you're doing, man. Well, you, you yeah. kind of already answered my next question because I was going to ask you, other than the uh, bulldogs and the band dogs, would it be any other breeds you considered? So I guess you already answered that for real. So far as the band dogs, right? Are you working on building your own bloodline, or is it certain bloods you like to play with? Oh, uh, man, hey, it's already built, dude. The Pitch Black Band Dog um, blood, bloodline is alive and well. Um, I've, I've, I've been working with my own blood for the last six years. Like I said, I just did an outcross. And it's, oh, wow. uh, I just outcrossed my bloodline. That's what these last puppies I had with this Bouvier Rottweiler. And man, they showing out. They showing out in three months. Yeah. Okay, okay, bro. So, uh, you got any, you got, because you, you know you're a seasoned thug, man, or whatever. You got any, uh, drools or any tips you want to drop to this, to this young, uh, boy, thug community coming up or any young inspiring thug, man? Hold on, man. I can't get, uh, hold on, I can't hardly hear you, dude. If I, if I move from this spot, then I lose you. I can't hardly hear you now when he called, but say what you just said again. All right, so I was saying, is any jewels or any, any jewels or any tips you want to uh, drop on this young audience or any um young up and coming Doug, man? Well, the only thing that I have to say, and I'm going to keep it short and brief, uh, you can't be for real with nobody else. You ain't for real with yourself. And when you're for real with yourself, you'll be for real with your program. You'll be for real with your program. And um, keep it 100. Keep it 100 at all times. I mean, that's the best right. advice that I can give you. Because when you fake in front, your dog's going to tell the whole story. And yeah. once that happens, once that happens, it's over. It's a wrap for you. So I can yeah. learn that my dog talking for me. Yeah. But be I real definitely about felt it. that, bro. I definitely felt that, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Cause even when I started off and with my uh, main of Bentley line, you feel me? This was when I was like, I've been dealing with the dubs when I was since I was like ten. But once I got the main of Bentley line, that's when I really started taking this this dub thing serious. And then like, yeah, even down to being true, true it yourself, like. It's same every about every dog I get I'm doubted till I had to basically, you know, shut up the spectators, you hear? Yeah. And uh you I mean, got any hounds you want and you got any hounds you wanna show to the people, bro? Well, I'm a I would go show them, but like I said, if I move from this spot, we done lost everything, bro. That would took me so long oh, wow. to get to you the Yeah, but oh, uh, wow. what I do uh, tomorrow evening, around the same time, hit me up, and I'll give them a little tour. Uh, just, a little, just a little small piece, Mike, because I'm, I'm uh, working on some things, and I got some more uh, secret, secret weapons here over here to pitch black. And um, okay, when, okay, I bro. Out, when I do come out, man, about the next year and a half or two years, um, hey, I've I'm a mean it when I say game over. I'm a mean it, bro. <laughs> I, I, yes, I felt you. I felt you, bro. Yeah. I felt you. Yeah. All right. Well, my man, look, I think my phone for that die, bro, because, you know, I told you it's bad out here. But I appreciate the interview, man. And uh, I'm ready, bro. Hey, we can be back up tomorrow. All righty, bro. Nice talking hounds with you, bro. And I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to send you the link as I upload hey. it. Keep on dogging, man. Keep on dogging out there. Already, bro. Already. All right. Peace out, man. All right. All right, man. That can um that conclude episode two of How Tuck.
you know, definitely if you want to come talk about them hounds, show your hounds, talk about your litter, drop jewels on the young people, you know, young dog men, dog man, not dog man, schooling, educate anybody, let them know, just hit me up, bro, you know. But that concludes episode two. If you want to be on Hound Talk, all you got to do is DM me and let me know. And when our schedules meet, I'll be more than happy to put you on here.